welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my March favorite. Today is March 31st and I actually have been shopping quite a bit in the last couple months. So I've been accumulating a lot of new products, a lot of new beauty items, and I'm kind of just in the experimental stage. I'm kind of playing with a lot of the new products that I have right now and I've been getting some orders in the mail. So I'm just kind of playing around with everything that I have right now. So I don't have a lot of new favorites to share with you guys. I do have some items that I wanted to mention that I feel like are like established enough in my beauty routine that they are favorites at this point. But look forward to a bunch of hauls that are gonna be coming up, some review videos, maybe some swatch videos. Let me know what you guys wanna see, but for now, I don't have a whole bunch of new favorites to share with you guys, but I do have some good items that I do want you guys to check out. So let's go ahead and get into that. So the first item I have to share with you guys, I'm actually a little bit shocked that I haven't mentioned yet. I don't know why I haven't mentioned this product, but this is the Morphe Brushes Jaclyn Hill Favorites Palette. And if you guys have been following me for a little while, you know that I'm in love with Jaclyn Hill. She is by far my favorite makeup artist. And she did do a collaboration with Morphe Brushes and came out with a palette of all of her favorite shadows. So obviously I was all over that. So this product was released on January 1st. It was a New Year's edition palette. And and the site actually ended up crashing and all of Jaclyn Hill's millions of fans out there um, had a really hard time getting their hands on this palette. I am one of the few who did get through the site after setting an alarm on my phone every 20 minutes to get up on New Year's Eve and check to see if this was available yet. Um, I did actually end up being able to order the palette. So I did get it. It's absolutely gorgeous. I really, really love it. And I've been using it a ton. And I realized just like a couple days ago that I've been getting so many questions and so many compliments on my eyeshadow lately. And this is all I've been wearing like the month of March. So I was like, oh, I should probably mention that. So all the eyeshadows that I'm actually wearing on my eyelids today are completely from this palette. The Morphe brushes, the eyeshadows, the Jaclyn Hill Favorites palette. So if you guys like this look that I have on, definitely let me know in the comments down below or give this video a thumbs up because I would love to do a tutorial on my like daily routine with this palette. There's a bunch of neutrals in through here, but you've got some pops of color in there, lots of warm tones. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous palette. Um, I know it's hard to get your hands on right now because it's a very, very, very popular palette and it is limited edition, but um, I believe it is going to be released again soon. So if you guys still wanna get your hands on this, I think it is coming out again. If you haven't heard of it before, I will leave a link down below where you guys can check out Morphe brushes. The next favorite product, this is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. And this is very, very raved about here on YouTube. It is a very popular mascara. It's a super volumizing, thickening, mascara. I love the packaging. It's super sleek, really pretty. It's this heavy metal in like a light pink metallic packaging and it just says Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. So you can see by the wand that it's very thick, very full, very fluffy and that's really good for building up and coating the lashes in volume. Now I will be honest, this mascara is a little bit clumpy. It's very thick the way that this mascara tube works is there's not a very good stopper in the tube. So I feel like it gets really messy and really clumpy, but the actual formulation of the mascara I do really like. I just felt like there was so much rave about this product and I just didn't really, didn't really like it. And honestly, for the first like week, maybe two weeks that I had this, I hated it. And I think you just kind of have to like break through that wall in a new mascara and just kind of get to the point where the formula starts working for you and you have to get used to it. But now that I'm used to it, I do like the volume that it gives me and I think it does a really good job. You just have to know when to stop because I think it gets to a point where you need to stop or your lashes are going to get clumpy and out of control. Okay, I actually hauled this lipstick a little while ago in my drugstore haul, and I have been obsessed with this color. This is the Maybelline Darling Nude shade, and this is from the MAC collection. This is such a beautiful color. It swatches so beautifully. It's just a perfect light pinky nude color. It's very nude, but I don't feel like it's like too nude that it makes you look washed out. It just has such a pretty, pretty peachy pink color to it. 
And for a matte lipstick, this really isn't that drying. I think it feels really nice on the lips and it's quite long wearing as well. And then the lip liner I've been pairing with it is the Essence Lip Liner. And this one's in shade number 11 in the nude. And this is just a really nude lip liner and together I just think it gives you a beautiful matte nude lip. And it's at a great price, especially coming from the drugstore. Okay, next I have nail favorites. Um, so the first product I had never actually heard before and heard about before until we got some in shipment at Sephora and I was like, what is this? It's the Nails Ink Nail Kale. It's a superfood base coat. So this base coat has kale in it. How trendy is that? So this is basically just a super cute base coat and this has kale in it. So it's gonna help to strengthen your nails. And I've been using this all month long and I think it's really, really helped improve my nails. They just feel thicker, they feel stronger and they're not chipping and peeling as much. So I really, really love this. I don't know if it's like the best base coat for nail polish, but I have noticed that when I use this underneath my nail polish, that the colors are so much shinier and they're so much more opaque. They just apply so much easier to my nail with this on, but I don't feel like it prolongs the wear of your nail polish at all. I just think it really helps to strengthen your nails and give it a really pretty like gel finish. I've been really loving this stuff and I believe it's about $15 at Sephora. Okay, so next I've been really loving pink nails lately. I just think that's the perfect transition for March because they're still like darker, like more bold colors. I'm not really into wearing pastels just yet, um, but I still think it's a good like transition color. And this one is by OPI. It's just a little tiny, tiny bottle. This is what I have on my nails today. And I'm not sure what the color is because it's not on here. So I know, I know, I'm sorry, but it is the OPI, like a hot pink color. And I'm pretty sure it's from the Gwen Stefani collection but I don't exactly know what the name is, so sorry. I just love the way that this color looks on my nails. I think it's a nice pop of color. I think it's not too dark, it's not too light. I think it's really pretty and really fun and it's super girly and I just really like it. And it's so cute and little. Okay, next I have a brush and this is the Naked, the Urban Decay Naked Flushed brush and this is a double sided brush. There's this angled side over here and then there's this like small flat side on this side and I have been using this to contour and I love it. One of the reasons why I love this brush so much is because it's so tiny and I think a lot of the times people make a mistake when they're contouring is they make their contour too wide. So it either goes down too low or it goes too high and it just looks like this muddy dirty mess and I think that this does a great job at getting right in here right where the contour contour color goes and you don't have to blend it out too much. It's just like a perfect little size and I love this side as well. It's really great for cleaning up down here if I want to take a lighter shade in or if I want to go in and add my highlight color with it as well. And it's really convenient to have like a double sided brush for contouring. I mean it makes sense. One side for contour, one side for highlight. A bunch of brands have been coming out with brushes like this. There's a new shade and light one by Kat Von D. Tarte has one. I know that uh, Stila just came out with one that's a little bit different, but I think this one's my favorite just because this is so tiny and I think that that size just works really well. And I'm a small person, so maybe I just, I just like smaller sizes, but I think this brush is amazing and the Urban Decay brushes are like really, really good quality. Okay, I have a little bit of skincare for y'all. This is the Freeman Feeling Beautiful Face Mask. If you guys have never used the Freeman Face Masks before, they are a drugstore brand and they are extremely inexpensive. I got this one from Ulta for a little bit over $3. And this one is the Charcoal and Black Sugar Mud Mask. And this one is for normal to combination skin. It smooths, purifies, and moisturizes the skin. And I had heard about this a few times and I had even seen it in a couple of other YouTubers' favorites videos. And I love face masks. I'm a huge, huge face mask person. I usually mask like three to five times a week, so pretty regularly. And this one is actually paraben free, which I think is really cool. But the reason why I actually checked this one out was because I was at Ulta and I saw like a ton of the Freeman masks and I was like, oh, I've been needing to try more of those out because I had tried the cucumber one before and I liked that one and I had heard so much buzz about this one. I really like the mud masks as well. I don't like peel masks because I think they hurt, 
but I, I, nah, I don't know. A lot of people like those, but I just don't like I them. I think my skin is like too sensitive to be like peeling things off of it. That's just not, I don't, nah, I don't want to peel things off my face. Okay. This one I had heard was more of a scrub, which I wasn't really looking for like a scrub. Like I use a Clarisonic and other, um, other exfoliating products. So I wasn't looking for something to exfoliate my skin. Um, but this one's just a really, really good, like, thick mud mask and it smells really good. It's just like a very typical like mud consistency. This velvety mud mask works like magic to moisturize, remineralize, and make skin sensationally soft. Dead sea minerals have a natural nourishing effect that boosts smoothness and overall skin health. Activated charcoal locks onto and lifts away oils and toxins without over drying the skin. Black sugar helps your skin hold on to hydration and smooth away roughness. Perfect for normal to combination skin. So I picked out this one because it says that it's not going to over dry the skin and I have more dry skin so I don't like anything that's supposed to like be really good for oily skin basically. But this one just makes my skin feel so nice. It helps to calm it down. It smells really good. It feels really good. And I see immediate results with this one where my skin just feels more smooth. It feels more even and it kind of it helps with like texture and any just like it helps to purify the skin a little bit I mean nothing crazy it's not like glam glow super mud or anything like that but it is really really good and charcoal is super great for the skin and I've been looking for ways to incorporate more charcoal in my skincare so I feel like I found like a really great product I'm really excited about it and for three dollars you cannot beat that I really really think you guys need to check this out if you haven't already okay and then I have a couple of hair products so the first one is the Pantene Pro V Moisture Mist and this one is a detangleizer. So you guys know I've been using the Dove detangleizing spray for probably like a year, maybe a couple years. I go through bottles of those all the time. But recently I went in to get my detangler from Walmart, Smith's, Target, somewhere. And they didn't have any, so I picked up this one instead. So I don't know if the Dove one's gone, but I decided to try this one out. And I really, really, really like it. This one's cool because it's moisturizing and you can feel like when you spray this through your hair, that your hair just feels more like smooth and less dry. It feels a lot more manageable. When for me, like I don't wash my hair every day because I try to not wash my hair to make it grow and because your hair doesn't need to be washed all the time because it ships its natural oils. So I have to use dry shampoo in my roots and then I have to use a moisturizing product in the ends because my ends dry out. So my ends get really, really dry in between washes and I feel like this has made a really big difference. It's just made my hair so much more manageable and it just looks so much less like dry and irritated and the ends of my hair can get really gross and they look really split um, in between washes because my hair is so dry so this has really really helped and it feels good and smells good and it's really inexpensive and then also in between washes, I have been using the Batiste dry shampoo. And this is the first time that I've ever tried this dry shampoo. I like the Suave one a lot, um, but I saw this one at TJ Maxx and decided to give it a try. And this one's really cool because it's for dark hair. And the good thing about that is that it's actually brown when it comes out. So you're not gonna see it in your hair, which is really nice. And this one's weird because it's actually powder. Like it's not a liquid. If you were to like spray it out, you'd see that this is just a powder formula so you do have to be careful with it because if it gets like on your face it's really hard to get off so I always have to like shield my head um but it does work really really well and I feel like a little bit of this product goes a long way which I don't find in a lot of dry shampoos I feel like you go through dry shampoo pretty quickly so I like that a little bit of this goes a long way and I like that it is brown they're supposed to smell good but I don't really want them to have a smell I don't think this smells very good but it doesn't linger or anything anyways, but people talk about how great these smell and how that's like a benefit, but I don't want my hair to have a scent. I just want to smell clean and put on perfume. <laughs> okay, well thanks for checking out my channel. That was just a quick little March favorites for you guys. If you have any requests, please feel free to leave them down below in the comments. Also check out my description bar for my other social media links. And if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, then please do. I would absolutely love your support. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I will see you in a later one. Mwah. Bye!